Miami is for the girls. Like you get, you know, stuff for free all the time. Like you can go with zero in your bank and still have fun. So kind of sounds like life on easy mode. Oh, well, like you know, we live in a patriarchal society, and like ah, the little ways that we can benefit from it, like we're um, patriarchy. Okay. Um, yeah. Kind of sounds like female privilege a little bit. I mean, we're already oppressed. So, Are you? like, living in, like, trying to dismantle pa- patriarchy and, you know, all of that stuff, like, great. I'm Wait, not you gonna want leave. to dismantle patriarchy? No, no, no. Like, uh, you Wait, know, do you... I admire people that do that. that Wait, you admire women that want to Women dis- that want to dismantle, dismantle patriarchy. Of course, yeah. But I just, I'm just not gonna participate. Make it make sense. <laughs> But you want the patriarchy to be dismantled. Say, like we're already living in, in in the patriarchal society. I don't okay? think so. I think we live in a gynocentric. I just don't want to live my life where I constantly have to fight against it if I can benefit from it. You know what I'm saying? Fight like what? don't get mad, get paid kind of thing. So wait. You said you're oppressed. Like women are oppressed in a patriarchal society. No. So you're you're oppressed right now. I don't feel. I don't feel oppressed I because th- I, I enjoy rights, you know, the same rights that men, you know, enjoy. So which enjoy. women are oppressed? What do you say? Which women are oppressed if you're not? In other countries, a lot of we're women are oppressed. We're talking about here. Oh. Yeah, we're talking about the U.S. because she, sa- she asserts that there's a patriarchy in the United States, ergo, if the patriarchy is oppressive, I assume it's oppressing women. So, well, going around the table, do you, guys, who, do you believe there's a patriarchy? I think so, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. Yes? I don't know what patriarchy means. That's fine. I don't know. No comment. What do you mean, no comment? <laughs> I don't know. Do you just... Are you familiar with the, the term the patriarchy? No. Yes, I am. But you don't know if there is a patriarchy? Or you just don't want to say it, I guess? I don't know. They said I don't know, and I agree. Why aren't Do you, you picking well, on that? <laughs> well, you said no comment initially. I would prefer not to... Talk about... Okay. No. I'm just going to assume your position then, and I'm going to assume that you believe there's a patriarchy if you choose to not comment on it. That's just... I'm just going to assume your position. The way I see This isn't even, like, that controversial of a... Like, this is mainstream, like, shit you hear in colleges. Are you like, you're, you can't, you're not going to get canceled. Honestly, I personally haven't experienced the patriarchy, but I believe maybe it exists in some parts of the country or some people have experienced yeah. it, but I'm not one to say that it does exist and is tangible. But from my own life experience, that's not a thing. I think that still women and men play different like roles. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, we have it easier and men are able to take on challenges easier, I think so, especially when it comes to making money. I don't know. That's what I think. You're on a dating podcast. Like, it's okay to have an opinion. Yeah, that's what I think. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. Oh, I know. So you're just going to no comment the conversation? I'm assuming you have some position on this. Yeah, I do. Why did you want to come tonight if you're not going to engage in the conversation? Have I not been? Not really. Well, I apologize this is me for trying that. To, well, this is me trying to reel you into the conversation and just saying no comment. Like, okay, whatever. I'm not going to waste any more time on this. I'm just going to move on. Um, so, okay. Under the patriarchy, those of you who believe in the patriarchy, do you think women are oppressed? Wait, correct me if I'm wrong. Patriarchy is a society where it's predominantly governed by men correct or not or how would you define patri- a patriarchal I mean there's society? a whole bunch of different I mean I've heard various different definitions of it but typically probably the more generous definition of it would be a society where uh, leadership positions top positions in corporations uh, those who occupy positions of power those in government uh, are men typically Okay. I've heard it's a society built by men for men. I've heard that. I've heard uh, 
a couple other definitions of it, but I well, mean, you we use can the say term. We, can, so. we live in a patriarchal. We are, we live in a patriarchy because most of the presidents and governors happen to be men. Does that not? Okay. Why do you think that is? Mm, I don't know. Um, could it? Could one of the reasons be because it sounds like you don't you don't want to be fifty fifty in a relationship, right? How many women are like you? Not a lot nowadays. I feel woman, more the modern woman. I would say there's a lot of women who no, want to be stay like at home woman, and don't want to do 50-50 and want a man they to do be the want sole. to go 50-50. Huh? I've seen a, I've yes, seen there's a, lot a lot of women, women that, going trying to like wants to Well, here's a simpler question. What maybe some women don't want to go 50-50, but what proportion of women would prefer a guy to pay on the first date and be a provider? Okay, mm -hmm. not you. We know you, but <laughs> I don't know the, the statistics about it. Um, yeah. Oops. Um, why do you think it is that men, do you, do you think men are in these higher positions of power and high earning positions because of like some system set up by other men to uphold other men? Um. I think men are naturally very good at being leaders and um, oh, okay. in command and, and you know um, yeah and they're very organized. I, I so then you, why I would you, you why would you want to dismantle organized. the patriarchy that you believe exists if you think men are better leaders than women? But also we we cannot deny that you know years ago like in history women have been denied the same rights that men have been enjoying since you know the beginning of humanity. <laughs> Okay. Butler donated two hundred dollars. If the girl in white is too tired to contribute, allow me to wake her up. <laughs> oh Open your God. mouth, woman. Let me throw a ball into that catcher's mitt you call a mouth. It might even cure your herpes. <laughs> Jesus Hashtag Christ, <laughs> Butler! <laughs> Calm down, brother. Holy shit! I'm uh, sorry. I'm tired. I, this guy I is apologize. on fire. Okay. Um. Well. Okay. So. You want a guy to be a provider, correct? You don't want, you want to, when you get married, how much of the household income do you want to be contributing? Zero percent? Like money wise? Yeah. You want him to be the sole breadwinner, correct? Yes. Now, do you, th and you, th you think you'll be able to get that, correct? Yes. Let me ask you a question. How many men do you think can go out into the dating marketplace and want to provide zero financially and expect to get a partner. He might want 50-50, he might be able to get it, but he goes into it expecting to provide zero financially. Like a man expecting a woman to provide zero? No, no, no. How many men can go into the dating, the dating marketplace with the expectation for a long-term partner that his, his future wife will provide 100% of the financial resources? I don't know. Very, very few. What? I can name one. <laughs> okay, we're, uh, yes, there's probably dudes that would be fine being stay at home. I would argue, though, that the vast majority of women, as a lot of the women here answered, I want a guy who makes at least as much as me or more. Or it's, I want a guy to be the sole provider. So, could it be the case that the reason men earn more than women, which is the wage gap's already been debunked, but for the sake of argument, let's assume that's not the case. Could it be that the reason that there's a patriarchy and that men occupy the highest positions of power and the most desirable jobs and make the most money mm -hmm. is because there's a mating pressure on men that does not exist in women. If it's your standard that you want, you don't believe in 50-50, you want a guy to provide for you, then that is a very real and powerful mating pressure that exists on men that does not exist in women. I would argue one of our greatest motivations in life for both men and women is to find a partner. And if it's women's standard that I want a guy to make as much as me or more, or more, more importantly, if there's women out there, a large cohort of women that want a guy to be a sole provider, sole breadwinner, 
doesn't it stand to reason that that creates a pressure on men that does not exist in women that men need to go out and make money? And could it be the case that the more motivated you are to do something, the, gr the, li the more likelihood you are to achieve, achieve that? Yep. Yeah. The better you so if, there, so if there is a patriarchy, women created it. Women really created if, it? If, there, if there's a patriarchy, women created it. Because okay. women, because you just, because okay. you just said you want a guy that pays all the bills. You want a guy who does X, Y, Z. That man, that's attractive to you. So that man, men in America are innovative. They figure, they figure shit out. They start businesses. They get ideas. They form alliances with other men who share those same values, same ideas, who are also innovators, entrepreneurs. So they become the top. They become the top and they're what you want. So if women didn't desire that, they wouldn't have became that. Also, I agree with that. Men, men, we don't have a fallback of marrying someone richer if we're not earning enough. Like pursuing a high paying career is basic is, is a basic necessity for men. Like we have to. We can't fall back on potentially finding a woman who's prepared to be the sole breadwinner in a relationship. We don't have that as a fallback. And we do know if we want to get an attractive girl, if we want to get a 10 over here, a high value woman, we have to be the sole breadwinner and providing all the, in all these ways. So maybe there would be less of a patriarchy if women were like, I'm cool with 50-50 or I'm even cool with fully providing for a man, but y'all aren't. So I can't, I can't I'm even- I'm not against patriarchy. I'm, I'm against men yes, abusing, you are. abusing. You you Their literally power. said you're you're like I, go women who are trying to dismantle like I live believe in Christianity and Christianity is based men being leaders men, the men is always the pastor you know like men in positions of leadership do you not want a man to be a leader though I do like I'm comfortable with that what I'm not comfortable with is men abusing the power and using it yes, against men should, women. Not, men should not abuse their supposed power they do sure so do women but why but why do you th why do you think that happens though like not not from a moral perspective but if a man is paying all the bills okay and he comes to you he dates you you date him don't you think he wants you to do everything he wants you to do be everything he I, wants you I to be i understand he will request submission from me and i'm willing to give it because i'm naturally sub, you know submiss um, submissive to the right man to a masculine man I just wanted to add that um, the only reason why there's not a lot of women in office and in these higher like power roles is because a lot of the time women don't want to be in a higher like power role. Like they don't really necessarily always want to be in office. They want to be taken care of. They want to stay home. They want to have a sole provider. So by saying that there is a patriarchy, it just doesn't make sense given the fact that who's actually like raise your hand if you're like actually thinking about like going to Congress. like doing something in the field of like a high power role like a judge or like deputy chief something like that president no exactly oh another mating pressure aside from just the financial component women are attracted to status i was just about to say that women are attracted to status in men whereas that's not really an attraction trigger yeah. like you can take a really high status woman but if you put like a more physically attractive girl right next to her like the dude's probably gonna want the really attractive girl but beautiful beauty a beautiful woman is a status symbol to yes men. no that's true that's true but mm -hmm. we're talking i'm talking status like in your career okay like yeah it's not on their top priorities for men. like a guy can be butt ugly but if he's like really fucking high status like i'm sure you guys can think of like rappers that probably have like an endless supply of women they're not particularly physically attractive but they have status um, and so men will pursue status, and one of the ways they can do that is by having a really high, uh, like a very respectable or high status career. So that's another mating pressure. Being an expert in something, as I said, expert, yeah. uh, expertise is sexy to women. So I don't even have to, I mean, in skills. today's, yeah, and skills, skills. In, 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 in today's age, especially in the West, it can be 
different domains of expertise that are attractive to women who value those domains. It don't necessarily have to be college or um, politics, but at the end of the day, women value status, they value expertise.